There are so many things to keep you interested and engaged while in downtown Ludington, including shopping, art galleries, and entertainment. But just outside of town, there are other attractions that you don't want to miss. We headed for the historic White Pine Village. We have another beautiful day here in Ludington, and I have to tell you, not all the attractions are out here on the water. We're just south of town. We're actually on a sand bluff, although there's enough trees around, I can't see Lake Michigan. It is nearby. Uh, we're here at the historic White Pine Village. Now, this village is a bunch of restored buildings, about 25 of them, of what the history of this area was like back in the 1800s. The village is certainly a place where history lives. Well, I'm with Rebecca right now. She's got us out here in the village. We're taking a look around. Hey, Rebecca, maybe you can tell us a little bit about it. Oh, yeah, this is historic White Pine Village located in Ludington, Michigan. It's owned and operated by the Mason County Historical Society. There's about 29 different buildings on site. The crown jewel of the Historical Society of White Pine Village is the Mason County Courthouse. And the courthouse was built back in the 1840s. It's on its original location. The Historical Society purchased the property back in the 1970s renovated the courthouse back to its original condition and have set up exhibits inside representing how the courthouse used to operate back in the day. And a lot of the other buildings that are on site are original buildings that have been um, transported here to preserve the history of Mason County in the western side of Michigan. And then there are some that are replicas of um, historical buildings in the area that as historians we wanted to you know represent and protect that history here. Okay, well, what time period are we covering here? This is the 1840s to about the 1950s. So it's about a hundred year time frame that we cover as you walk throughout the village. This village part that we're in right now is obviously the 1840s. We have our courthouse, our trapper's cabin, general store, sort of a historic version of one-stop shopping, you know, back in the day where you got everything. And then as you go that way, you get into the 1950s. So this is the older section of the courthouse, or of the village. Okay. Now, uh, people come in, you get a little map. It's not, not real big, but yep. you got a little map. You can go out here and mm -hmm. kind of look the buildings over, and you've got information exactly. on what each building represents. Yep, we give them a map, and we sort of go through the different key points of the village and what to look for. The fact that Town Hall has snacks and ice cream and different options that they can use. It takes about an hour and a half to two hours for the average visitor to get through the village, and some spend longer. It depends just how much families want to do. They're able to bring a picnic. It's a dog-friendly friendly location, so they can bring their dogs as well, come and go throughout the day. It's really a, an affordable way for families to bring you know, their kids out here and really see a part of history and what life used to be back in the day. You know, I, when we came in the building, kind of the little welcome center that mm -hmm. you have here, a little gift shop in there where you can get the information yeah. about the village. You also have a lot of books and things we in do. there. What, what is that all about? So a lot of the books are local authors and historians in the area who have wrote different informations. We have, you know, the story of Ludington book. We have a Justice Stearns book that was wrote by one of our professors out of the community college. Justice Stearns really um, was one of the lumber barons back in the day. And so we've got some great books out there. We also, with our new Maritime Museum coming on board, we have our some books about the maritime history in Michigan as well. So Why don't you along. give us a quick overview of the, the new yeah. museum that you The new Maritime Museum is the Old Coast Guard Station in Ludington, Michigan, and the Historical Society in connection with the city um, are working to open a maritime museum that will preserve the history of the maritime er you know, history for Western Michigan, primarily the Ludington area. It's going to have the logging um, industry, lumbering industry, car ferry history. It's really going to be state of the art. There's going to be a we have great technology companies involved and contractors that are really going to have um, just a very interactive museum. We'll have a pilot house where kids will be able to go in and actually it'll look as if they're steering the badger into oh. port when wow. they're coming in. So very there's cool. a lot of neat aspects of it. We're very excited about it and anticipating a May of 2017 opening. Okay, so, so it's a little bit in the future. A little yet. bit in the future. The history yeah. is a little bit in the future yeah. yet. Mm -hmm. I think I can say that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We're giving history a future. That's what we're doing. It's not hard to compare shopping in the 1800s with today. Can you imagine how many general stores would fit into a big box store today? Yet everything required for daily living and more was available at the general store. So this is the general store? This is the Coles General Store. And the Coles General Store was lived in by Mr. and Mrs. Henry Cole. 
The Historical Society moved it onto this property back in 1975, so it was one of the first buildings that we brought onto the property. When This used to be called Pioneer Village when it first started. It's okay. since changed to Historic White Pine Village. This is a favorite building. We do history and action days where we bring students in from all over West Love going into the store and seeing how it used to be back in the day. How families got their goods, and the fact that you bought everything from a bar of soap to, you know, a piece of fabric, a hat, you know, a, a cabbage shredder, whatever you needed, as well as all of your food. And so forth. So Just like all the cowboy movies, yeah, right? Exactly. Go to the general store and buy it. Go to the general store and get everything there. Rebecca, that was really interesting in there, yeah. all the different things. That, that, and, and it's such a little building, you can buy is. all these things right in that spot. Yeah. What do you got in store for us next? Well, let's go over to the Trapper's Cabin. That is a favorite here as well. And that'll give you some history about how things were in the 1850s for trappers in the area. Oh, cool. what they did. Very so good. Let's go this way. Watch your step. There is an expression, all trappings of home. This solidly built, hand-hewed log cabin typifies the life of a trapper who built it. It is a testament to the skill and determination of the early settlers of the area. Okay, so this is the Trapper's Cabin, and this was owned by a William Kubia, and Mr. Kubia brought his family and four his wife and four kids up to the area in the 1850s, and they built this cabin, gave and his family lived in it, and it was also the first post office outpost for Mason oh, County. No kidding. Yeah, so this cabin was located over in the Custer area of Mason County, and then it was eventually brought here to preserve that history and the trapping history of the Mason County area. Have you ever stood in a spot and wondered what life was like a hundred years ago? If you take the self-guided tour of this historic village, you will get to see and experience what life was like more than a hundred years ago in Mason County. There are 30 buildings and sites to explore. You and your entire family will leave feeling very nostalgic as well as educated in the life of our forefathers. Over here we have here we have our print shop. And that's another favorite in the area, but our crown jewel is the Mason County Courthouse. Over All right. Here, so. That's the one I wanted to see. Rebecca, we are out here. You promised to show me the crown jewel of your area here. And it's a courthouse? And it a is courthouse. a courthouse. And yes. this is it here? This is it. This is the crown jewel of White Pine Village. This is the first Mason County courthouse and the first framed home in Mason County. Burr Caswell built the home back in 1849. He, him and his wife moved into it. They had four children. She was actually Native American and her name was Hannah. About six years after living in it, they he offered first floor to the county for county government use. Ah. So him and his family moved to the upstairs level and then they operated a courthouse out of the bottom floor on one half and then the back half had a trading post and the county jail. <laughs> so all in the home. It, it's amazing yeah. how it was back then that Very so different. much was in such a small spot. Like Very that. small and this was its original location. So this courthouse is here, the Historical Society purchased it built the village around it and it is our crown jewel holds the historical marker with the state of Michigan.